Welcome back to my channel. My name is Teeks. And today I am going to be showing you guys how to turn a simple tee into a pencil skirt. So with that being said, let's get started. First off, materials. You're going to need a regular t-shirt, scissors, pins, some thread, chalk as a marker, you need a 1 to 1 1.5 plastic measuring tape, similar pencil skirt for tracing an outline. Now that you've got all your materials, let's get started. First, I'm going to be taking my t-shirt and I'm going to be trying it on. You want to make sure that your t-shirt fits you and you also want to make sure that you're using a t-shirt that has a stretchy material, so something knit or cotton. Now that you can fit your t-shirt, let's go on to the next step. Now you're going to be putting your t-shirt flat on the floor or on a table and you're going to mark where you're going to be cutting out. So I'm marking right underneath the collar. What you're gonna do then is cut off the sleeves. You're gonna cut just right beneath the collar where you marked. So once you have that finish, all you're going to want to do is just turn the t-shirt inside out and you're going to take a pencil skirt that you already own, trace around it on your new pencil skirt. If you don't have a pencil skirt already, you can also once again turn it inside out and try pinning it to yourself so that way you can know where to sew. I'm leaving some space in between so that way when I sew that the skirt doesn't sew way too tight. As like I said before, make sure the pencil skirt you own has the same stretch as the skirt you're making. And then once you have that done, all you're gonna do is cut it out. to the next step. Now I'm gonna take my pins and I'm just gonna pin down the sides of the skirt. The bottom of the skirt already has the hem from the shirt that you used. If you want, you can always try this skirt on and take it in if you have to after you get done sewing. Once we have that finished, onto the sewing machine. You wanna make sure that you get your machine and I'm using a bobbin and thread. If you don't know how to start a machine, I do have a video on this, so I'll link it right here so you guys can check it out. But basically, you're just gonna be sewing a basic straight stitch. Um, I do have a video on how you can sew a straight stitch as well on my sewing series. Once you get done, it should look like this, just a basic clean stitch. And this is the outcome of the skirt, what it looks like. Now, we're not done just yet, you guys. Um, as you can tell, at the top of my skirt, I need a waistband. So what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is measure your waist. You can do this with a measuring tape or you can just go ahead and do it with your waistband. I measured my waist at a 26 and I am gonna leave one inch of the waistband um, available so that I can have a little. So now what you're gonna wanna do, line up the elastics top edge with the skirt outside top edge. Sew the top edges together, but don't forget to switch your straight stitch to zigzag stitch. This is so simple, you guys. All you have to do is put the elastic inside of the skirt. Once you get to the end of your elastic, you wanna make sure that you overlap the elastic band. Make sure that you overlap them, you sew straight, and don't forget to back stitch because that's gonna keep everything in place. 
When you're putting your elastic in, make sure that you stretch as you sew, otherwise the opening won't be stretchy. We're not just completely finished yet. What you want to do is to make it look very, very clean and neat is fold, flip the elastic inside the skirt. You're just going to sew that all away around. That's it. You have your skirt. I love this cream looking skirt because it's giving me a Kim Kardashian kind of feel. I paired the skirt with a Bella Sheer top from CC Hot, some Zara leather heeled sandals. If you're not comfortable with having your back out, add on a fur vest. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below letting me know if you do decide to try out this look and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!